Lockie Neal's AFL career began in 2011 when he was drafted by the Fremantle Dockers with their fourth selection. He was scouted as a prolific ball winner, averaging 31 touches over the state carnival for South Australia. However, he was quite a small sized midfielder, standing at just 178 centimetres. Looking back now, it is hard to fathom how Neal slipped down the cracks to pick 58 in the draft. Neal's first season with Fremantle was interrupted by an ankle injury. He still managed to make his debut in round four of the 2012 AFL season against St Kilda as the substitute. He went on to play 16 games that season, averaging 11.3 disposals, 1.6 marks and 2.1 tackles per game. The following year, Neal's game improved and he averaged 19.8 disposals, 3.3 marks and 1.7 tackles per game. He was also the substitute in the 2013 AFL Grand Final when Fremantle lost to Hawthorne by 15 points. In 2016, Neil's impressive season was rewarded with the Deutsche Medal, which is awarded to the club's best and fairest player. He went on to win the Deutsche Medal again in 2018, but at the end of that season, he requested a trade to the Brisbane Lions. Neil thrived at the Brisbane Lions in 2019, winning his first All-Australian team selection, as well as the Merritt Murray Medal and finished third in the Brownlow medal with 26 votes. In 2020, Neil had an outstanding season, winning the Brownlow medal after polling 31 votes during the shortened regular season, including being best on ground in 10 matches. He also won the All-Australian selection once again, as well as the Merritt Murray medal and the Lee Matthews trophy, amongst various other awards. Neil's success continued into the 2022 season, where he won his third All-Australian Blazer and third Merritt Murray medal, as well as placing second in the Brownlow medal, missing out on first place by one singular vote. For the 2023 season, Neil was named co-captain of the Lions alongside Harris Andrews, solidifying his position as one of the AFL's top players. Over his career, Neil has been the AFL's prolific midfielder with elite ball winning abilities, averaging career 27 disposals, his best being 2016 where he averaged 33 touches a game. Neil is a three-time All-Australian as of 2022, five-time Best and Fairest, Brownlow medalist, and MVP. He was also regarded as the best player from the Western Australian teams twice, and is a heavy favorite to win the Brownlow medal in 2023. Now, Lockie Neil was picked at number 58, and there were a lot of busts to have been picked before him. It really shows that even though a player is successful in getting picked by a team, it is so difficult to maintain a spot in that team. From the 57 players selected before Neil, only 17 still remain in the AFL. Many of the players played less than 10 games and unfortunately could not make their mark in the AFL. And because of this, there is not much that could be said about their careers. But let's have a look at the ones who managed to make some form of an imprint in the AFL. Tory Dixon went at pick 57 right before Lockie Neal and was picked by the Western Bulldogs. He played 114 games for the Bulldogs, kicking 181 goals and being part of the 2016 Premiership. He was a significant member of the Doggies forward line and possessed great accuracy. At pick 48, Jordan Murdoch went to the Geelong Cats. He played for both Gold Coast Suns and the Geelong Football Club during his career and made his AFL debut in July 2012 against Port Adelaide. He was delisted by Geelong at the end of the 2018 season and subsequently signed a three-year contract with the Gold Coast Suns. He played 14 games in 2019, but was delisted and redrafted as a Category A rookie by the Gold Coast after the 2020 season. He retired from professional football at the end of 2021, having not played senior football since 2019, after 122 games and 74 goals. At pick 42, Jimmy Webster was selected by the Saints from Glenorchy in Tasmania. A defender, Webster is still in the league and has played 133 games as of 2022 and has averaged 16 disposals per game. At pick 37, Jack Nunes was taken by St Kilda. He held a consistent position with the Saints defense over 155 games before he requested to be delisted to sign for Carlton. He signed for Carlton in 2020 and played 52 games for the Blues until 2022 when he wasn't offered a further contract. At pick 34, Shane Kirsten was drafted to Geelong and maintained a strong position as a forward second to Tom Hawkins. However, he didn't play in the finals of 2016 
and was eventually traded to Fremantle. He was delisted in 2018 after 66 games and 67 goals. At pick 33, Bradley Hill was selected, a wingman from West Perth. Hill played for Hawthorne between 2012 and 2016, being a part of the three-peat side of 2013 to 2015. He requested a trade back home to Fremantle in 2017, where he played 54 games and then requested a trade back to Victoria. He currently plays for the Saints and averages a career 19 disposals per game. Elliot Yeo was selected at pick 30 to Brisbane. He played 27 games for the Lions before requesting a trade to West Coast. He has played 182 games and kicked 73 goals as of 2022. He is a two-time All-Australian, best and fairest, and part of the 2018 Premiership team. At pick 25, Sebastian Ross was drafted to St Kilda. He found his footing for the Saints in 2016 when he averaged 26.5 disposals per game. In 2018, he averaged 30.1 disposals per game. He is a two-time best and fairest and the current vice-captain for the Saints. Moving to pick 21, Tom Mitchell was selected by the Sydney Swans under the father-son rule. He did not play in the 2012 season, rather he would develop his game in the reserves where he would dominate recording high disposal performances. In 2014, he recorded a record 64 disposal game and scored four goals in that same game for the Sydney reserves. After five seasons, he moved to Hawthorne for greater opportunities. He would elevate his game, averaging over 35 disposals per game in the next two seasons and winning the 2018 Brownlow medal. After 2022, Mitchell was traded to Collingwood. At pick 15, Brandon Ellis was selected by Richmond and debuted in 2012, earning a nomination for the AFL Rising Star Award that season. In 2014, he received the Jack Titus medal for finishing second in the best and fairest. He led the club in disposals and rebound 50s and placed fourth in the club at the Brownlow medal. He was also nominated to the All-Australian squad of 40, but was ultimately not selected to the final side. Alice played his 100th AFL game in 2016 and is a part of the 2017 and 2019 premierships. He was traded to the Gold Coast in 2020, signing a five-year contract. He currently averages 21 disposals per game in his career, over 231 games. Devin Smith was recruited with the 14th overall pick in 2011 and played for GWS from 2012 to 2017. Smith made his debut in the opening round of the 2012 AFL season against Sydney at the ANZ Stadium and received a nomination for the 2012 AFL Rising Star Award. After the 2017 AFL season, he requested a trade to Essendon. In his debut season with Essendon, he was named the best and fairest player for the club, winning the Crichton Medal. Smith struggled with knee injuries and only played eight games in 2022. And as a result, he announced his retirement from the AFL after 182 games and 146 goals. At pick 13, Taylor Adams made his debut in round five of the 2012 season against Western Bulldogs for GWS. He averaged over 21 touches in his first two seasons with the Giants, but later in October 2013, he was traded to Collingwood in exchange for Heath Shaw where he became a valuable asset to the team and was appointed to the leadership group ahead of the 2016 season. In 2018, he was awarded Collingwood's Bob Rose Award for being the best finals player, where he averaged 29 possessions, five clearances, and seven tackles over four games. He was also a standout player in the grand final, earning 31 possessions, nine clearances, and a goal, leading to him being voted the runner-up for the Norm Smith medal. Unfortunately, Adams suffered a severe injury in September 2022, tearing his groin off the bone. He averages a career 24.7 disposals over 183 games. At pick 12, Sam Doherty was drafted by the Brisbane Lions, debuting in round four of 2013. He played 13 games as a halfback, averaging 13 disposals. However, after the 2013 season, he requested a trade to Carlton. He has since played there, where he has made a huge impact, averaging over 26 disposals in 2016 and 17. However, two ACL injuries in 2018 and 2019 delayed his career, as well as an unfortunate bout of testicular cancer. After much anticipation, Doherty would return to his previous best and be a leading force for the Blues. Toby Green was selected by GWS with pick 11. He is the current captain of the Giants with two All-Australian Otters, a best and fairest and three-time leading goal kicker. He is a prolific ball winner, 
and made an immediate impact, averaging 28 disposals in his first year. He has since been a solid player for the Giants, having kicked 265 goals and averaging a career 21 disposals per game. At pick 10, Liam Sumner was selected by the Giants after only managing 12 games between 2012 and 2015. In 2016, he debuted for Carlton and played 20 games before being delisted in 2017. At pick 9, Adam Thomason was selected by GWS. In his second season, he received the AFR Rising Star nomination in round 17 after recording 23 disposals, 9 marks, 4 tackles and a goal in a 39 point loss against Essendon. At the end of the 2019 AFL season, he moved to Melbourne as a free agent after appearing in his first grand final. However, injuries had affected his ability to play consistent footy. Going at pick 8, Billy Longer was recruited by the Brisbane Lions from the Northern Knights in the TAC Cup, where he played as a ruck. After two years and nine senior games with Brisbane, Longer wanted to return to Melbourne and sought a trade. Longer agreed to be traded to St Kilda. In 2017, he set a new St Kilda club record for hitouts in the AFL season of 656, at an average of 38.59 from 17 games. However, Longer lost his form and failed to play a senior game in 2016. He retired at the end of the 2019 season after experiencing concussion issues during that year. Nick Haynes was selected at pick 7 by GWS. When he was selected by GWS in the draft, he was an average player with a solid position. He had grown significantly in the 18 months before he heard his name called and was seen as a midfielder who could float forward, but nothing about his potential as a defender. In 2019, Haynes had a breakout season with the Giants and was selected in the squad of 40 for the All-Australian team. Haynes entered his ninth year in the league as the converted forward midfielder and many saw him as the best intercepting defender in the game. He was an All-Australian and won the Giants' best and fairest to cap off a spectacular individual season. Currently, Haynes is at the top of the defender's version of the Coleman medal, the intercept mark leaderboard. At pick 6, Chad Wingard was selected by Port Adelaide, making his debut in round 19 against St Hilda. However, his standout performance in round 22 against Brisbane was where he received the AFL Rising Star nomination for 27 disposals, 1 goal and 5 marks. In 2013, his second season, he made the All-Australian team, becoming the youngest player to do so since 1994. Wingard's 2015 season is regarded as his best to date, with him booting a career high of 53 goals and averaging 19.2 disposals per game. At the end of the 2018 season, he requested a trade and was eventually traded to Hawthorne. Wingard made his presence known in his debut for the Hawks against North Melbourne, kicking three goals to help secure a wing. He is a best and fairest winner for Port and a two-time All-Australian. At pick four, Will Hoskin Elliott was picked by GWS. He debuted in the opening round of the 2012 season against Sydney. He played 20 games in the 2014 season where he showed his potential by kicking 26 goals. However, due to soft tissue injuries, he was only able to play 11 games in the 2015 season and the first two games of the 2016 season. Following the 2016 season, Oscar Elliott was traded to Collingwood. Since joining the Magpies, he has kicked a career-high six goals in a match against Fremantle in 2018, and he played his 100th game in the 2018 Grand Final against West Coast. He has been a solid contributor for the Magpies in the forward line. At pick three, Dom Tyson was drafted to Greater Western Sydney and debuted in the opening round of the 2012 season. Injuries limited him to 10 games in his debut season, but he managed to play 13 games for the club in 2013 before being traded to Melbourne. Tyson's first season at Melbourne saw him play senior football consistently for the first time in his career, playing all matches for the season and receiving high praise. At the conclusion of the 2018 season, Tyson was traded to North Melbourne and after six games in three years for North Melbourne, Tyson was delisted at the conclusion of 2021 after 113 games and 45 goals. At pick two, Stephen Canelio was chosen by GWS. He debuted for the club in round one, recording 17 disposals. In round seven, he was nominated for the 2012 AFL Rising Star after a 31 possession game in their first win over Gold Coast. Unfortunately, he suffered a thumb injury mid-season and missed four games. At the end of the 2019 season, Cornelio qualified as a free agent and rejected offers from Carlton and Hawthorne, instead re-signing with the Giants for a further seven years. He was the captain of the Giants from 2020 to 2022, 
but struggled with form in the 2020 season where he was dropped from the side. However, he was able to recover and find his form again. He averages 24 disposals a game and has had a solid career. He has been in the top midfielders throughout his career, but has not seen much success. Jonathan Patton was drafted by GWS as the first overall selection. He missed the first 11 rounds of the 2012 season due to a jumper's knee injury, which he went to Stockholm, Sweden to treat. Patton played his first game for the club in June 2012 against Richmond, scoring one goal from seven disposals. Unfortunately, Patton suffered a torn anterior cruciate ligament in round three of the 2013 season and was out for the remainder of the year. In 2014, after an impressive year, Patton re-tore his ACL in his right knee and underwent surgery, which resulted in him missing a year of football. He returned to play for the club in 2015, but was rested for the remainder of the season to ensure he could make a full recovery. Patton had his best season in 2017, scoring a career high of 45 goals and 142 marks. However, his career was plagued by injuries and in 2019, he missed the entire season due to a left ACL injury. Patton requested a trade to Hawthorne at the end of the season, but in January 2021, he was stood down by the club for inappropriate behavior. He retired from football in April 2021 due to mental health issues after 95 games and 133 goals.